Sugar for artificial sweeteners is a fast growing trend to lower daily calories, but a new study heats a warning to people trying to diet. So Leah Shields, she's on your side tonight, sitting down with the chief of cardiology at Ascension St. Vincent's to learn more. The study found a link between people with high erythritol levels and an increased risk of heart attack or stroke. Erythritol may sound like a fancy chemical, but it's what's commonly in many artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners use it for a sugar substitute. This brand even advertises it on their product for diabetics. But according to a new study, which monitored thousands of people at risk, including those with diabetes, too much of it in your diet can do the opposite of what dieting is supposed to do. It's probably really, really good to keep away from excessive added sugars. But as we do so, um, I think the really important thing is to maybe retrain our palates away from sweetness a little bit um, so that we get used to um, things with less sweetness. Because as we start to reach for these artificial sweeteners, um, there may be unintended consequences, which we're actually still learning about. The study done by the Cleveland Clinic and published in Nature Medicine looked at more than 4,000 people in the U.S. and Europe and found that those with higher erythritol levels in their blood had a much higher risk of major cardiac events like a heart attack, stroke, or even death. They actually studied erythritol um, outside of uh, the body in different preparations, um, which they will call in vitro since it's outside of the body, and they did find that it enhanced coagulation of blood and led to higher levels of uh, coagulation. Magnano says when you need some sugar, have the real stuff in moderation. This study found a link, not a causation. Much more research will be needed in order to determine if erythritol causes heart attacks or strokes. Leah Shields, First Coast News, on your side.